Why didn't I know about this guitar before? Okay, friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. Now, for some reason that I have not been able to figure out, I have failed at checking out guitars from Ernie Ball Music Man. I have played a few, like some of the Petrucci models, but until now, I have never owned one. I mean, Leo Fender was one of the founders. It's got to be good, right? Now, I like a good value as much as the next guy, and Sterling is the sort of more affordable sub-brand of Music Man, kind of like how LTD is to ESP. And so the guitar I got here is the Sterling by Music Man Stingray SR50 in beautiful fire mist silver. Look at this guitar. Look at that color with the mirror polished switch plate and this dark roasted maple neck. What a combination. So I want to say towards the beginning here that there's something about the style and design of this guitar where pictures just do not do it justice. And I hope that the video, you know, really brings out the looks of this guitar. But for me, after seeing photos of the guitar first and then getting the guitar and seeing it in person, there is a huge difference. And this guitar really just looks amazing in person. Now, something that I find fascinating about this guitar, um, I noticed right away when I pick it up that the guitar has a unique feel to it. It doesn't feel exactly like any other guitar that I own. But that being said, it feels really good and it's really easy to play. It has a very solid and responsive feel to it. And it actually feels kind of rigid in a way, but I mean that in a way that's it's kind of reassuring. I mean, it feels very reliable and durable. Now it has a poplar body, so it has a pretty solid weight to it. I weighed this one here, the guitar I have, and it came in at 7.3 pounds. Another thing that I really like about the guitar that's the kind of thing where you just kind of continue to notice it the more time you spend with the guitar, is you start to look at all the little details on the guitar here, and it's like this toggle switch up here, this is metal. The knobs are metal. And it has a really nice neck plate on it, and there's just a lot of little tiny details on the guitar that you start to notice the closer you look at it. And uh, this guitar has the sweet smell of quality. Okay, but how much does this guitar cost? Because if it's thousands of dollars, well, of course, you know, I wouldn't buy it. But, uh, you know, it's not that impressive if it's really expensive. But this guitar actually only costs $599, right around 600 clams. And if that is too rich for you, there's actually another version of the Stingray, which goes for around $399, 400 bucks. Now, it does not have the roasted maple neck that this guitar does, or the locking tuners, but it still has the overall look and vibe uh, that this guitar has. So, if you want the same style, and you can get by without some of the really cool features, uh, then that would be another option for you. Now, I've already mentioned a few of the specs, uh, the poplar body, the roasted maple neck. It has 22 frets, and these uh, they're calling these medium jumbo frets, and they do feel, you know, like medium-sized frets. They're kind of medium uh, and a little bit on the tall side, um, but they're finished very nicely, no sharp ends or anything like that. Uh, locking tuners, as I mentioned earlier, and then, of course, uh, we've got the truss rod adjustment down here at the neck pocket, which I really, really love. So you don't have to fuss around with, you know, truss rod covers up there or anything like that. Pair of humbuckers. These are from, you know, Music Man uh, humbuckers. Uh, very simple controls, the three-way and then a single volume and a single tone, and a two-point uh, kind of vintage style trim, although this is the uh, Sterling branded trim. And one thing that I really like about it is it has a really nice press-in tremolo arm. And this one is like, it's a really nice fit. It doesn't swing around. I can't stand it when the tremolo arms just like clatter and swing around back and forth. This one stays, you know, exactly where you put it. I really like it. Okay, cool guitar, cool style, some nice features, but of course we want to hear how it sounds. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my old reliable Fender GTX 100. I'll go through a few different sounds from that amplifier and different pickup settings and so forth, and we can really get a taste of what the guitar sounds like. Now, real quick, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool, affordable guitars, 
and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and plug this in and listen to how it sounds. Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about the playability of this guitar. So uh, the sort of feeling and look of quality that I was talking about in the first half of the video, that extends to the feel of the guitar um, when you're holding it and when you're playing it. I mean, if somebody handed me this guitar and was, you know, it was like one of these like blindfold challenges or something like that, and they said, okay, you know, guess how much this guitar costs, I would not guess that it costs $5.99. I mean, I would put it, you know, a, a little over a thousand, something like that. You know, like there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of Schecter guitars, as an example, that are really good quality, that are in this sort of like twelve to $1,300 range. This guitar has the same feeling of quality that those guitars do, but this one here is like half the price, right? Now, obviously, spec-wise, this is a very different style of guitar, but my whole point is that this just I mean, it feels like a very uh, quality, you know, professional level instrument. To me, the neck profile is definitely a solid C-shape neck, and it's, it's full feeling. I wouldn't say it's a thick neck, but it's definitely not like a super thin uh, shredder neck or anything like that. But again, it's a, it's a nice round C-shape. It has the satin finish on the neck, which is really important to me. And then these really, really nicely finished frets. There's also other little touches which contribute to that, like this neck joint here, the way it's uh, carved and sanded down where it just really dies into the neck real nicely. Even though this is a bolt-on neck, it feels very, very smooth. It kind of feels, you know, if you close your eyes, it, it almost feels like a set neck. So bottom line, very smooth neck, very easy to play. Now the other thing that jumped out to me during the demo when I, when I played this guitar is it has a very tight, very focused sound to it. Now, the scale length on the guitar is 25 and a half inches, pretty standard scale length. 
but the strings have a uh, kind of a snappiness to them, which makes the guitar, you know, it makes it feel very responsive. And I would say maybe not quite as uh, acoustically resonant as some other electric guitars that I've played, but it, yes, like I said, it, it gives it a very, a very tight, very um, a fast attack to the notes and a very focused sound. Now these pickups here, they call these the SBMM pickups, so they are uh, some of Music Man's proprietary pickups. Uh, they sound very good. Now one thing about them that I noticed that was a little bit unexpected is there wasn't as big of a difference between the sound of the pickup positions as I was expecting. But if you look here at the neck pickup, you can see there's a pretty considerable gap between the pickup and the end of the fretboard. Now part of that has to do with the truss rod adjustment right there. But if you think about this here, the position that the pickup is in is about the position that it would need to be in if this was a 24 fret neck, but it's a 22 fret neck. And obviously how far apart the pickups are from each other makes a big difference in the difference between the tone of the pickups. Now the pickups sound good, so that's not necessarily a bad thing that there's not a huge difference between the sound of them, but I, I do kind of feel that it would have been cool if they could have snuck that neck pickup just like a half inch or so closer, you know, further down the strings. Okay guys, so overall I'm really impressed with this guitar and I'm just impressed in general with the build quality of this. That's the thing that really jumps out to me. You know, unfortunately I was not able to play one of these guitars uh, in the store or anything like that. I was not able to play it until the guitar arrived uh, to me, you know, it got shipped to me and that kind of thing. And I'm, I'm really happy just with the overall build quality and the playability of it. But I want to hear from you guys. What other guitars should I check out from Music Man? Uh, I want to hear your suggestions because, like I said, I'm impressed with this brand and I want to learn more about it. I want to check out more guitars. Which ones should I check out? Okay, guys, so let me know what you think of this guitar and the other Music Man stuff in general down in the comments section below. Now, guys, as usual, I'm going to have links for everything I was talking about in this video down in the video description below. I will have a link for this guitar. I will also have a link for the uh, less expensive version that I was talking about, plus a link for the amplifier I was using. That was the Fender GTX 100. Uh, my social media, my latest instructional program, all that stuff will be down in the video description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.